We've all heard about Wii Sports where people strap Nintendo's Wii controllers into lumps of plastic, all in the name of trying to become more immersed in Wii Sports games. Well, did you know that you can do the same for VR too? In this video, we'll take a look at what you can do to enrich your VR sporting life. And speaking of accessories, we also have a huge accessories giveaway to celebrate the fourth anniversary of VR Accessories Guru's Kiwi design. Hello and welcome back to the VRC for your VR news, reviews and entertainment. If that's your thing then hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a video. It is free and you can unsubscribe as soon as you get bored of me. Now really quickly before we jump in that giveaway we're giving five lucky viewers the chance to win some awesome Kiwi Design stuff. Two of you can win the most comfortable strap for Quest 2, the Kiwi Design Elite strap. Two of you can win the best grips for the Quest 2 and one lucky winner will get the longer version of those grips that are awesome for pistol shooting games. This is all in aid of the Kiwi Design 4th anniversary and currently on their website you can get 20% off everything using the code 4TH20. That's 4th20. They do make some amazing stuff so check them out, there is a link to their site in the description and that was not sponsored. Now let's get into the video now but keep watching to find out exactly what you've got to do to win. And first up we've got something we've featured on the channel before, these table tennis paddles from AMVR. Perfect for games like Eleven Table Tennis, they slot easily around your controllers and with a bit of adjusting they really do feel like you're holding table tennis paddles. I mean when I play Eleven Table Tennis without them I do actually feel like I'm holding table tennis paddles but with them on I really feel like I'm holding table tennis paddles. At $23.99 with an Amazon Clickbox discount, they're not cheap for something you won't see but if you're serious about your VR table tennis and don't mind taking them off and putting them back on again and not using controller grips, then they are pretty cool. Links to these and all the other things I'm going to talk about in this video are down below in the description. Second on the list is something totally new to this channel and they are these golf club attachments from Dead Eye VR. These attach securely to your controllers and then instead of holding the controllers together you can actually hold something that really feels like a golf club. I'm not talking those crappy sports golf clubs from Wii. These feel like the real deal. It's handy because games like Walkabout Mini Golf are amazing and they really do nail the physics and feel of being on a mini golf course. But the thing that lets it down is the way you have to hold the VR controllers together. The Quest 2 controllers do simulate table tennis and guns quite well but sadly not golf clubs. Now you can use the actual grip you would on an actual putter and your putting experience is all the better for it. They do work with the grips too so you don't have to keep taking them off and putting them back on again but they do fit better without them. Now these aren't cheap especially on Amazon so you might want to check out their actual website at deadivr.com where they do sell loads of other sporty goodies including a bow and arrow attachment which I actually asked for but they didn't send. If you're unsure go check out the reviews on Amazon because they are pretty good. Now for the VR Tyson Fury out there or VI Mike Tyson's or VR Anthony Joshua's if winning isn't your thing. Joke! These VR boxing glove attachments from AMVR are very very weird but so so cool. They actually feel like real boxing gloves and when you've got one on it's really hard to put the other one on just like real gloves and when you have both on it's really hard to have a drink in between rounds and really really hard to have a drink and wipe the sweat off the headset and have a little rest before you have to get up again. But all of that is basically what it would be like if you really wore boxing gloves. These are such good quality that they really feel like you're shadow boxing with boxing gloves on. The little bit of added weight means it's more of a workout too. I definitely recommend these if you actually box and have been using VR to train a bit of endurance since you don't want your arms to feel heavy when you're boxing for real. In terms of VR, they also have the added bonus of totally protecting your controllers from bashing things in your room and also protect the things that you might bash. They also hold your controllers in position so you no longer have to grip them and you can open your hands and they will stay right there with you. That is of course if you are using controller grips. If not, then you do actually have to hold them which you might find hard. I definitely recommend controller grips with these but if you don't use controller grips at least they're easy to put on and easier to drink in between rounds since you can just put the controller down. Now our fourth items have been featured before but if you want to do an even sweatier workout then the VR dumbbells from Kiwi Design 
might be for you. They work by screwing onto your controllers, don't worry, they're easy to get on and off again, but they come with little weights that sit inside the domes, which means you can increase the weight of your controllers by up to 150 grams. Now that doesn't seem like much, but over a long play session, you'll notice the difference. They fit really well and look really natural over the controllers, as if they were built like that to begin with. I probably wouldn't recommend them for VR boxing unless you're using really good technique, not like me, as you could do damage to your joints when you extend a bit too far with a bit too much weight. But for games like Beat Saber, O-Shape, Synth Riders and other cardio-centric games, they can be really cool. And since they're from Kiwi Design, this September they have 20% off too. So talking of Kiwi Design, how can you win those Kiwi Design VR goodies? Well, all you have to do is like this video, watch the whole video and comment below what your favorite sport is to play in VR and which accessory you like to use to play it. That's it. You don't even have to be subscribed to this channel. This competition will be running for the whole of September, so I'll announce the winners early October. Until then though, if you really want their stuff now, there's 20% off everything. If it's not September and you're watching on Dave, you won't be able to enter the competition, but you can still get 5% off all their stuff using my code VRC. But they often have events going with codes to get even more than that off. And finally, for shooting fans, because shooting is a sport too, remember? Like that skiing shooting one that has a name that doesn't sound like skiing and shooting. For those people, we have these pistol attachments from Aligo. Now, if I'm being honest, which I always am, Aligo do make some cool stuff, but we're definitely in the realm of Wii Sports here. They do look cool enough, but of course in VR you can't actually see them. And the added weight doesn't make anything feel that more realistic since, you know, they're not made of metal, they're just plastic. And they also don't work with controller grips. For me, that was a deal breaker because as you know, just by getting this far into the video, I don't like having to take things off and put them back on again. The controllers on their own feel really good for handguns. It's the rifles that aren't so good, but luckily there are many manufacturers of VR gun stocks from Deadeye VR, who I mentioned earlier, who made the golf clubs, to ProTube, who are the specialists when it comes to these things, although their stocks aren't particularly cheap. And that brings us to the end of the video. I haven't included all sporty VR accessories, so if you have a favorite we haven't mentioned, then just let us know. Also, if you want to enter that giveaway, then one little tiny extra thing you need to do, and this is just to prove that you actually watched the entire video, so well done for getting here, is put an emoji at the end of your comment. Thanks for getting this far, and as a thank you, we've just massively increased your chances of winning. I'll tell you who's won what in the pinned comment of my first video in October. Again, there are links to all the products below. They're affiliate links, meaning it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help out the channel if you use them. So, thanks again for watching the VRC. Take care and enjoy your VR sporting life. See ya.